So quickly, let's take the second example. We are going to find the root of f of x equals x minus 2 sine x near 1.9, correct to 6 significant figures using fixed point iteration method. And we are going to perform exactly 4 iterations. So let's try to solve this together. So first of all, we need to understand that we have the value of x naught to be 1.9. Now, like we did in the previous example, we have a root finding problem that is of the form f of x equals 0. So we have f of x equals x minus 2 sine x equals 0. And we need to transform this root finding problem into a fixed point problem of the form x is equal to g of x, okay, such that the absolute value of j prime of x is less than 1 at x equals x naught. Now, in this case, xn is going to converge to the root or the approximated root of the given equation. So, how do we transform f of x equals 0 into x equals g of x? So, we can have various forms of x is equal to g of x. However, this condition needs to be satisfied at x equals x naught. So, we can make x the subject from this and this as well. So, first of all, first of all, let's consider this x. So, from this x considering f of x equals 0 we are going to have x minus 2 sine x equals 0 okay then let's try to make this x the subject which means that we are going to transpose this term to the right hand side so we are going to have x equals 2 sine x and thus the right hand side becomes g of x therefore we have g of x equals 2 sine x now we have the absolute value of j prime of x that is equal to we are going to differentiate this equation with respect to x so 2 is a constant, it remains the same. We differentiate sine x and then we have cosine of x. So this should be less than 1 at x equals x naught, which is 1.9. Therefore, we are going to have 2 times cosine of 1.9. Notice that your calculator should be in the radian mode. It should be in the radian mode when you are calculating this. So this should be less than 1. And then this is equal to, we have negative 0 0.6465 dot dot dot. The absolute value, so it becomes 0 0.6465 dot dot dot. And this is obviously less than 1, okay? This is obviously less than 1, which means that which means that xn is going to converge to the root of the given equation. So what do we do here, straight away we can obtain the iterative function. The iterative function. So since we have x to be equal to g of x, where g of x is equal to 2 sine x we have the iterative function that is x n equals g of x n minus 1 and that is equal to we have g of x to be equal to 2 sine x so wherever we see x we are going to replace that with x n minus 1 so we are going to have 2 sine x n minus 1 so at this point, we can perform the various iterations. So for the first iteration, for the first iteration, we are going to have x1 that is equal to 
j of x naught and that will be equal to 2 sine so here becomes x 1 minus 1 which is x of 0 okay so x of 0 is what has been given is what has been given as or x naught is what has been given as 1.9 okay x naught so we have 1.9 here when you compute this remember that your calculator should be in the radian mode so when you compute this you are going to have 1.89260 1.89260 and then you move on to the second iteration we have j of x1 that will be equal to 2 sine so you fix this value in here that is 1.89260 when you compute this you have 1.89733 you move on to the third iteration that's equal to j of x2 so that will be equal to 2 sine you put this here 1.89733 and that's going to give you 1.89432432 and then lastly we have x4 which is equal to j of x3 and that's equal to 2 sine you put this here 1.89432 and that's equal to 1.89624 therefore the approximated root or solution of f of x by fixed point iteration method after four iterations is equal to the value we have here that is 1.89624 so now let's move on to the last example so to the last example we are going to solve this equation by fixed point iteration method and we are going to perform only four iterations given that f of x is equal to x plus ln of x minus 2 so in this example we are not giving the value of x naught neither are we giving the closed interval which means that we first of all need to find the closed interval and then from that we can use the formula x naught equals a plus b or divided by 2 to find the value of x naught so for the closed interval first of all we have f of x that is equal to x plus ln of x minus 2 so for the closed interval what we need to do is that we need to find two numbers okay we need to find two numbers so let's say we need to find two numbers such that f of a is less than 0 and f of b is greater than 0 okay so let's start off with let's see f of 0 so for f of 0 f of 0 that's going to be we are going to have 0 plus now ln of 0 is undefined okay so it means that f of 0 wouldn't be possible it wouldn't be possible so let's do f of 1 so f of 1 is equal to we have 1 plus ln of 1 minus 2 okay so this is equal to we are going to have 1 ln of 1 is 0 so 1 plus 0 minus 2 that is simply 1 minus 2 and that is negative 1 okay so we have this to be negative 1 and then the condition is that f of f of a should be less than 0 so f of 1 is less than 0 okay negative 1 is less than 0 so we are good to go with the value of a okay so it means that the value of a is this value not this value this value that is one 
f of a is 1 and this value is less than 0 again let's say let's do f of 2 so f of 2 becomes 2 plus ln of 2 minus 2 that will be equal to so we are going to get um, 2 2 plus 0 point let's say 6 six nine three and then minus two and that's going to be two minus two is zero so we have plus we have plus zero point six nine three and obviously this is greater than zero okay so this is greater than zero therefore it means that we have b to be equal to this value which is two therefore we have our closed interval okay we have the closed interval that is a b is one two so we can have the value of x naught to be any value inside of this interval however we are going to use this formula that is um, one plus two over two this is 3 over 2 and that is equal to 1.5 so we have the value of x naught to be 1.5 so after finding the value of x naught we need to transform this root finding problem into a fixed point problem so for f of x equals x plus ln of x minus 2 equals 0 we are going to transform this into a fixed point problem of the form x equals g of x such that the absolute value of g prime of x is less than 1 at x equals x naught. So we can make x the subject from this x or from the x inside here so let's say from this x okay starting with this x for f of x equals 0 we are going to have x plus ln of x minus 2 equals 0 so we have x is equal to we transpose ln of x and the negative 2 to the right hand side so we are going to have 2 minus ln of x therefore let's see so in this case in this case we are going to have the right hand side to be g of x so therefore we have g of x to be equal to 2 minus ln of x so let's see if g prime of x from this form of x is equal to g of x let's see whether j prime the absolute value of j prime of x will be less than one at x equals x naught so this is equal to we are going to differentiate this equation with respect to x so when you differentiate two which is a constant you have zero minus you differentiate ln of x you have one over x so we are going to simply obtain negative 1 over x and this should be less than 1 at x equals 1.5 so this is equal to we have negative 1 over 1.5 and then this becomes absolute value of negative 1 over 1.5 becomes 0 0.6667 and obviously this is less than 1 therefore xn is going to converge to the root of the given equation so with this with this we are going to obtain the iterative function that is from xn equals j of xn minus 1 we are going to have this to be equal to wherever you see 
x in g of x we are going to substitute and put in x n minus 1 so from this g of x we are going to have 2 minus ln of x n minus 1 okay and then remember that x naught is equal to 1.5 okay so let's consider the various iterations so for the first iteration that is x1 this is equal to g of x naught and that is equal to 2 minus ln of 1.5 and this is equal to 1.5 Five nine four five three one point five nine four five three. We move on to the second iteration x two equals g of x one that is equal to two minus ln of one point five nine four five three and that is equal to one point five. 3342 we move on to the third iteration x3 is equal to g of x2 equals 2 minus ln of 1.533342 this is also equal to 1.57250 and then lastly we have x4 equals g of x3 that is equal to 2 minus ln of 1.57250 and that is equal to 1.54733 therefore the approximated roots of f of x by fixed point iteration method after four iteration is equal to the value 1.54733.